A new three-man crew is speeding its way to the International Space Station as I speak uh, for the two Russian cosmonauts. It's their first ever spy space flight and their American counterpart is making his debut too aboard a Soyuz rocket. Artis Lucy Kafanov witnessed the launch at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Let's take a look at this amazing sight. There she goes firing it up and blasting off. Quite soon, uh, in about two days, in fact, they should be reaching the ISS where they'll be spending the next six months of their lives. I can tell you these guys have been training really hard for quite some time, uh, and they say that they are as ready as can be. Blasting off into the heavens. For mission control, it's now a routine trip. But for these men, it's their first mission to the International Space Station and their debut journey aboard a Soyuz rocket. A day before liftoff, Russian cosmonauts Oleg Navinsky, Evgeny Tarelkin, and U.S. astronaut Kevin Ford met the press. Each of us has piloted an airplane, but we've only sent rockets down. Now we'll have to fly up into space inside one. And that feeling, I think, is one we simply won't forget, to be at the top of this giant missile construction. And beneath you is so much power that even thinking about it is a bit terrifying. It's a fear their families know all too well. Of course it's worrying. We're nervous. After all, this is their first flight to space. I think that every man must have a purpose for which he strives, and when he achieves this goal, he finds happiness. But in reality, I think a man's true happiness takes place when he achieves this goal and has close ones waiting for him at home. It will take about two days for the Soyuz rocket to reach the station, where the team will live and work for the next six months. Their first week will be a busy one. I don't think it's indicative of uh, hopefully every week of work, uh, otherwise we won't, uh, we won't last long. Tasks include a spacewalk to repair station equipment, as well as returning the world's first commercial cargo spaceship back to Earth. But intense training has prepared them for the tasks ahead. Getting that rocket off into space may be an act of precise science, but here in Baikonur, tradition and faith play a role too. A tree planting ceremony is one of the many Soyuz crew traditions. Each crew member also signs a wall here in Baikonur's Space Museum. Meanwhile, in accordance with local custom, a Russian Orthodox priest has blessed the rocket and the media. Both up in the heavens and here on Earth, the space program is one of the few things that brings countries together at a time of global unrest. For backup crew astronaut Chris Cassidy, that's exactly how it should be. Well, when you're up on the space station and you look down on the planet and you see uh, the beautiful blue and brown and clouds but no borders there, and I think that's the most indicative of how the space program is. Lucy Kafanov, RT, Baikonur. We wish them all the best. We'll keep you posted how they get on.